Good afternoon. My name is Daryl York, and I'm the Executive Director for Policy, Planning, and Student Support for Cobb County Schools. With me today for our School Choice Lottery are some of our Area Assistant Superintendents. Joining me are Dr. Barbara Sweeney, Dr. Kevin Daniel, Mr. Jim Carter, and Dr. Tracy Doe. Today we'll be conducting the general lotteries for our school choice transfer process. There will not be a lottery for every school because we did not have the number of applicants to exceed the number of seats available, or all of the seats available were filled with a priority lottery as approved by our board, that is family groups and siblings who were placed first. We'll go through elementary schools first, then middle, and then high, and that will finish our lottery process. So we'll go ahead and begin. Our first school today is Baker Elementary School. Baker will have lotteries at two different grade levels, first grade and fourth grade. We'll take the names of the first grade students who applied. There are four. And they will be entered into a lottery for the three seats that are available. So we'll draw a line under number three. And again, that's Baker, first grade. And then for Baker, fourth grade, we have four seats available for five students. And again, that's Baker fourth grade. We have four seats for five students. Our next school is Bryant Elementary School. And in Bryant, we have one seat available and three applicants for that second grade seat. Our next school is Bullard Elementary School. And we'll start with Bullard's first grade. And there are four seats available for seven applicants. Now because of the new board approved family priority in the lottery process, there are times when one lottery may impact the next. That's why at kindergarten, we have up to seven seats based upon that first grade lottery. And because of the results of that first grade lottery, we do have the full seven seats available uh, for kindergarten. So we will now take the 11 kindergarten students And we'll have seven of those 11 who will be able to take part of the lottery. All right. 
So you have all seven? Great. Our next school is Chalker Elementary School. We'll begin with fourth grade at Chalker. And we have one seat available for two students. So we'll put those two students into the random lottery. And because one of those two did not make it into fourth and their parent indicated that they would be uh, in the lottery as a family group, that in essence will eliminate the sibling from being in the kindergarten lottery. So therefore we'll have four seats available and only seven applicants in that case. So you've got seven names total, and then four of the seven, all right? Uh, Cheatham Hill is our next school. In Cheatham Hill, we have a lottery for yeah. kindergarten students, and we have two seats available for 15 applicants. And again, that's two seats available for 15. At Dowell Elementary School, we'll have a lottery uh, for fifth grade. And in fifth grade, we have two students, uh, but only one seat available. Our next school is Ford, and we have three lotteries at Ford. The first will be for kindergarten, and for kindergarten we have four seats available for 21 students. And then we have second grade at Ford. And we have five seats available for six students.
And then for fifth grade, we have six seats available for seven students. Our next school is Fry Elementary School. And at Fry, we have two seats available for three applicants in third grade. Our next school will be Kemp Elementary School. Kemp had a large number of applicants, but with the board approved priority lotteries that we have, um, in first grade, we have five seats available and siblings of current students are given priority. We have six of those siblings. Those siblings will be the only ones that are included in the lottery uh, for Kemp. So for first grade, again, we have six siblings, but only five seats available. And then for kindergarten, we have 10 seats available and 18 sibling applicants. I'll make a correction on that. Uh, because a younger sibling did not get in the kindergarten lottery, that would in essence take another sibling out. So um, that's only going to be 10 seats for 17 students. All right, our next school will be King Springs. in King Springs in kindergarten has four seats available and 68 applicants. Our next elementary school will be Mableton. And in Mableton, we have two seats available and four applicants for the fourth grade.
Our next school is Murdoch. And we'll begin with the fifth grade. And one of the reasons that these do not go in standard grade level order is that one lottery can impact the next grade level. And so that's why we need to start because fifth grade will impact what happens at the fourth grade. So we'll start with the fifth grade lottery. And there are three seats available for four students. Our next lottery will be fourth grade. And the fourth grade lottery, we have two seats available and six applicants. And because these do impact each other, I'm having to take a moment to make sure that we have the right numbers for, for the subsequent lotteries at that school. So um, may I see the first lottery for Murdoch, the fifth grade confirms. All right, thank you. All right, then the next lottery will be for second grade. And we had up to three seats available for seven students. Because of the outcome of previous lotteries, that's going to actually drop that number. Actually, because of the previous lotteries, the three seats that were available in Murdoch's second grade have been filled due to the family unit priority approved by the board. So we will not have a lottery for second grade at all. Those seats have all been filled through the family grouping. In first grade, We have three seats available for nine students, but based upon previous lottery, that is actually going to be two seats available for seven students.
through seventh grade. Yeah, this should be um, Murdoch first grade, mm -hmm. two seats. Okay. And then our last. For kindergarten, we will have eight seats available, and there will actually be, I believe, 31 applicants now. All right, and that finishes Murdoch. Our next school is Pickett's Mill. And at Pickett's Mill, we have five applications and two seats available in kindergarten. Our next lottery will be for Pittner, and at Pittner we have two seats available for three applicants in kindergarten. Our next school will be Shallowford Falls, and uh, Shallowford Falls will have four seats available for uh, six applicants. Our next school is Still Elementary, and we'll have uh, two lotteries at Still. We'll begin with first grade, where we have 13 names and seven seats available.
and we, for kindergarten, will have eight seats available, but only 30 names because a previous sibling did not get in the lottery, and so that does impact the numbers at kindergarten. And that will be eight. Okay. At Teasley in fifth grade, we have 10 applications and four seats available. Our next school is Tritt Elementary School. And at Tritt, we'll begin with second grade. We have three seats available and four applicants. Our next will be kindergarten. And in kindergarten, because of a sibling priority based on the second grade lottery, uh, we only have one seat available and eight students now that have applied. So this will only be one, the first. All right. Our next lottery for TRIT will be second grade. Pardon me, first grade. <laughs> My apologies. And in first grade, we have two seats available, and actually it's only five applicants. And our last lottery will be third grade. And because a previous student uh, or sibling did not get in, that actually drops the third grade applications to seven. So three students. Uh, we have room for three students and then only seven of the applications. And our final elementary lottery will be for Vaughn. And in Vaughn, we'll start with kindergarten, and we have one seat available and four applicants.
Our next lottery will be in second grade. Uh, again, because of the outcome of the kindergarten lottery, the number of applicants will actually drop to eight. And so we have three seats for eight applicants. And for fourth grade, because of the outcome of previous lotteries, we have two seats available and seven applicants. And that concludes our elementary. We'll move on to middle school. Begin with Campbell Middle School. Uh, Campbell Middle School, eighth grade, has uh, four seats available and nine applicants. And for sixth grade, we have six seats available and 17 applicants. Next will be Cooper Middle School. At Cooper, we have 13 seats available and 17 applicants for sixth grade. Our next school will be Griffin Middle School. Griffin Middle School has six seats available in sixth grade and nine applicants. Our next school is Hightower Trail. In seventh grade, Hightower Trail has nine seats available for 13 applicants.
because of the outcome of the seventh grade lottery, uh, Hightower actually has 12 seats available for 40 students in sixth grade. Our next school will be Lost Mountain Middle School. And for Lost Mountain in the sixth grade, um, we have eight seats available. Uh, those are going to be limited to only students who are already in the feeder pattern under a school choice transfer. We call those rollover students. There are 12 of those, and eight uh, will be able to obtain a seat. And in seventh grade, we have 18 seats available for 20 applicants. All right, our next school is Loving Good. Again, because of the uh, prioritized lottery approved by the board, students rolling over that are currently in the same feeder pattern under school choice are given priority. Uh, there are 16 of those students. We have five seats available. So those 16 rollover applicants uh, will be entered into the random lottery for the five seats available. Our next lottery is for Mabry Middle School. And at Mabry, we have uh, 21 sixth grade applicants for 14 seats available. Our next school, school is McClure. And we begin with seventh grade where we have 10 seats available and 12 applicants. see your list there because we have a sibling okay thank you because of the family group priority for sixth grade we will have 23 seats available for 38 applications.
And our last middle school will be Simpson. And at Simpson, we have uh, 37 applications and 33 seats available in sixth grade. So 33. And now we'll move to the high school. We start with Alatoona. Uh, we only have one lottery for Alatoona, that is 11th grade. Uh, we have three seats available uh, for six applicants. And to note, one of the reasons why this number three is different than was advertised uh, on the website is, again, with the priority of siblings who are already attending. Uh, those have board priority in, in getting into a, a different grade level, uh, or 11th grade in this, this case, uh, and, and family units. So having already placed those students by board priority, uh, we now have three seats available for six applicants. And anytime you see a number that's different than what we publish, that's the reason, that's the reason why. Our next high school will be Hillgrove. Hillgrove will have a lottery at all four grade levels. Uh, we'll begin in 12th grade. There are 10 applicants for five seats available in 12th grade at Hillgrove. In 11th grade, we have five seats available for 18 applicants. Our next lottery will be 10th grade. And in 10th grade, we have 23 seats available and 27 applicants. And finally, ninth grade, uh, again, due to previous lottery, uh, we'll actually have 53, excuse me, 54 seats available for 82 applicants. So 54 is still the same number. Our next high school would be Kennesaw Mountain High School.
And we'll begin with 12th grade, where we have 10 seats available for 14 applicants. And we do have several family groups in this particular school, so if you'll bear with me just a moment, we'll make sure that uh, we have the right information. For the other lotteries, all right. And then in 10th grade, In 10th grade, we, well, let's see. Due to the previous lotteries, we actually have everyone, the applications that we still have will fill those 20 seats. So we, we don't have to have a lottery. I am gonna print out the page just for record keeping, mm -hmm. but all of these students should be able to get in now based upon the outcome of that lottery. And then Kennesaw Mountain, ninth grade. And here we have 70 seats available and 77 applicants. The next lottery will be for Lassiter High School. We'll begin in the 11th grade where we have 19 applicants and 15 seats available. And we have 18, excuse me, 86 seats available in ninth grade for actually 112 applicants uh, because of a previous outcome of, of a lottery. Uh, one student would not be eligible. Next, we have McEachern High School. And at McEachern, we have 46 seats available and 57 applicants.
Next is Pebblebrook High School. I just want to double check my numbers. I'm showing on my screen an 11th grade lottery. Um, but actually, we, we don't. That's a mistype from uh, Pebblebrook. Uh, all the students who applied for Pebblebrook's 11th grade did get in. Uh, so my apologies for that. So we only have a 9th grade lottery for Pebblebrook. And we have uh, nine applicants for five seats available for ninth grade. Next we have Pope High School. And at Pope we have 44 applications for 20 seats in ninth grade. And Pope is the school that should have the 11th grade lottery. So uh, according to what we advertised, Pope has five seats available in 11th grade, and they have eight applicants. So we will have entered those eight names into the lottery for the five seats available. Next will be South Cobb High School. And at South Cobb High School, we'll begin with the 10th grade lottery. There are 10 applicants for nine seats available at South Cobb. catching one name, sorry. I'll make sure everyone is entered correctly. There we go. And for ninth grade, we have five seats available for 18 applicants.
Next we have Sprayberry High School. And Sprayberry High School has six seats available and 24 applicants. I'm sorry, the 24 applicants, and Jim, I know this is one of your schools, that's actually the, uh, the total applications. Uh, I'm showing here in 12th grade that they have six applicants for six seats, so all of those will be able to get in, so we do not have to have a lottery for, for Sprayberry. I apologize. And then last will be Wheeler High School. And Wheeler High School has four seats available for 24 applicants in ninth grade. And that will conclude the random lottery. What we will next do is go back and confirm all of the names on the lottery that Dr. Doe has marked. Uh, those students who were in the random lottery and were not those that were chosen will be entered into a priority list. That is something new approved by the board this year. So as part of that priority list, we'll provide that list to schools. And if parents of those students who were chosen choose not to accept their transfer at this point, then the next student on the list will be contacted. Those random, or excuse me, those waiting list folks will be contacted during the month of June. And so principals or school personnel will be calling those families during June to notify them if they are chosen from the waiting list. So that brings our 2015-16 uh, school choice lottery to an end. And thank you guys for being here today.